sure what she likes. Does she keep flowers in her home? Yes, I think so. She has a garden. Do you know what perfume she wears? Uh, it's only her fourth date. What are you trying to say? That I think I'm falling in love with her. The red rose symbolizes pure and lovely. And the white, it means you're worthy of her. Together they express unity. All said with a flower. Mm -hmm. Why don't you take a look around and pull out the flowers you like and we'll pull together a bouquet for your girlfriend. Hi. Anything interesting today? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It said the freesia symbolizes innocence and friendship. In the Victorian era, they included it in bouquets to convey trust. Thank you. Good afternoon, Mr. Stahl. What do you have for me today, Gilbert? Um, only something from the electric company. Oh, lucky me. Come on in, anyway. You have a new flower today. Very fragrant. Oh, oh! If this, if the smell bothers you, I, I can put it in my pocket. No, no, it's it's very nice. What does it say? Uh, you owe seventy-five dollars now. And for what? Oh, never mind. It's ridiculous. Suddenly, you find yourself owing more money. <laughs> Maybe you should just pay them. No. What should I read next? Oh, maybe one of yours. It would bore you. Collected poetry. Written many years ago. Do you miss writing? Where do you get these flowers? Oh, there's this, uh, a woman down the street, a, a florist. Eloise? Yeah. And you like her? I, I think she's very nice. With all the flowers she gives you, it's obvious what her feelings are. It is? You may not see it, Gilbert, but I do. A roar. I close my eyes and for a moment the world ceases and you are here. As I travel from one country to another, I imagine you by my side. Can you see the heat moving through the air in waves? Can you feel the sun soak your skin, weighing you down? I imagine you standing in its warmth, face tilted up to the sun. Know that I am missing you from afar. Eric. Oh, hi. Hi. He wrote you another one. Thank you. He's in Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. Oh, does, does he say when he'll be back? No. Bye. See ya.
Anything come for me? Still nothing? No. Sorry. Let me guess. Another Frisia. Yeah. What's in the mail, Gilbert? Oh, um, uh, nothing, I'm afraid. Well, perhaps tomorrow then. Thank you, Gilbert. Uh, m m Mr. Rostal? Yes? Could I ask you a question? It depends on what the question is. Can, can you help me with something? Of course. Come in. And to whom are we writing? To a young woman. The flower girl. Why not compare her to the flower she gave you? I, I'm not sure how I could do that. Think of the national flowers. In Bangladesh, it's the water lily. In Cuba, it's the butterfly jasmine. In France, the iris. What is the national flower of Brazil? The Catalea orchid. They're beautiful. How do you know all this? Poetry. But you don't consider yourself a poet anymore? <clears throat> so, okay, so how do we start? What words do we use? You must think of more than just words, Gilbert. What do you mean, there's more? The gesture and the word. The gesture. Yes, le geste et la parole. A word can say so much, but when combined with the gesture, that's when romance can turn into something so much more. Think of the flowers she gives you. That is a gesture. That holds more meaning than any word. No? Yes. Yeah. Think of how you can Show her how you feel. But for now, if there are words you're looking for, those I can give you. I carry the scent of flowers with me throughout the day. They cling to my clothing in the evening. In the morning, the faintest scent still hangs in the air. I've come to know that the purple country girl of Costa Rica has a mild scent, while sometimes it's the Ecuadorian rose that reminds me of you. The white nun orchid of Guatemala, the Puerto Rican hibiscus, Brazil's Catlea orchid. But of course, you are the most vibrant, the most beautiful of them all. All these beautiful flowers, I wish I could bring them from every corner of the world and place them in your arms. None of them compared to you. Oh, hey. Your lips are like the petals of a rose. No, like the petals of a miniature rose. Your breath, like honeysuckle only sweeter. Do you want me to get an atlas for you? But it is nice to be back. <laughs> hi. Oh, hi. Thank you. Sure. That's not from me. What do you mean? I didn't... I didn't send this. Yes, you did. Look. I didn't write this. It's not from me. Why would anyone... It's quite well written, though. Yeah, but it's not from you. Yes. It's only dinner. I know, but I... I don't go out with customers. 
<clears throat> um, do you like sushi, though? Hi. 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 Tough day. Disappointing. On me. Thanks. What's going on? You should go sit down there. Gentlemen, welcome. As those of you know, I am Bella Bliss. We have a dazzling show. Let's have a round of applause for the lovely Miss Coco Champagne. Well, things we gotta work out. Mama's gonna teach you a thing or two. She's gonna take good care of you. I'll do the picking, I'll do the licking. Leave it to me, babe, I'm doing all the kicking. Oh, oh, who's laughing now? Thank you so much for joining us this evening. We hope you enjoyed the show. But now we must say good night. We will leave you with one last dance. Mistress de Fleur. Wish I was holding you My arms enfolding you Making you Gilbert. So sorry to bother you. Come in. I feel ridiculous coming to you. Oh, be careful of the furniture. It tends to jump out at you. How, how do you how do you find the strength to, to, to put yourself out there? How how can I make someone see see me for more than they think I am? What do you see? <laughs> I just live for male. <laughs> My life's not not special. I'm ordinary. So am I. Most of us are. But you, you're, you're a teacher, uh, you're a poet. And I'm a husband and a father. You see, Gilbert, I've traveled the world, had children, 
seen them grow, fell in love, watched her die. And here I am, alone, in our home. These are my final chapters, Gilbert. I feel I've led a rather simple life when you come to think of it. I have no regrets. So, so there, there, there's nothing that you wish that you'd done? N no. Why should I? What happened tonight? I saw her, but I, I couldn't. You chickened out. I was afraid. And you gave her these letters. There's bravery in that. You're a young man, Gilbert. You have so much more ahead of you. Life's too short not to tell her. Oh, hi. Hi. Um, You're here earlier than normal. Oh, yeah. I, we're really, really busy today. I, I, I have a lot of a lot of mail to deliver today. So mm. it was nice seeing you last night. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't know that. I, I, I'd never been there before, so I didn't. You know. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. I have something for you. <laughs> we all know what the colors of the rose means, but orchids, they're more exotic. In the Victorian era, to give an exotic and rare plant was a way of showing affection. The more exotic and rare, the deeper the affection. It's beautiful. I'm glad you like it. see each one as, as more than just a simple flower. You gave each one of them meaning, a purpose. In this book, there, there's room for every flower here. And each one is an extension of you. And you're the most exquisite of them all.